Let's add a new option. This time I'll be using radio option. I'm adding a new row, choosing radio option from the list in the builder panel and drag and drop it into the builder content area. Open module settings modal window. Go to the main tab, add a unique field slug. Then I'm defining options label. Now switch to text mode, square style. Add in two sub options the settings called while are the unique slugs. Now let's just uh, define hover and active colors and other stuff like that. Using the visual builder for styling options is pretty easy and straightforward. You choose settings, click save and see the result instantly. Now let's integrate this new option into the product price calculation. There is no one and only method. There are several ways to achieve this and all are correct. First method using formula conditional rules. Enable it, create a rule and define a new mass formula that will be applied when this rule condition is met. Let's check our configuration. The price is getting doubled when I choose double-sided option. Perfect. Let's try a different approach now. I'm defining values for price rate settings for the options sub-options. The values of the settings can be used in the price calculation formula. It means that whenever user chooses this or that sub-option, its price rate settings value is getting assigned to the option variable. So I'm just using this variable in my formula and that's it. Let's check again. Yep, the same effect and no conditional rules used at all. Let's do the similar, but I'm going to use different price rate setting values for some options. I put zero for the first one and well, 50 for the second one. I'll be adding this value instead of multiplying it in my price calculation formula. 